hey y'all thank you for coming back to my channel i really appreciate it if you are new here please consider subscribing i would love to have you as part of my youtube family okay guys i just wanted to come here real quick and show you guys what i was doing i just came back from the grocery store and i'm separating a lot of my frozen products and my meat so i just want to give you a quick tip on how to make extra room for your deep freezer if you have one in your regular refrigerator freezer take everything out the bags for instance I broke this down the chicken right here from Sam's Club I um, take this out the bag and I'm putting them in freezer bags so and if you was wondering how they look they look really good not too thick because I don't like them too thick and I don't like them too thin so it looks really good and it looks fresh and I just put them in two big um, freezer bags and I'm going to seal them up real good and put them in my deep freezer. I put one in my deep freezer and one in my regular freezer. So, and also I did the same thing for the drumsticks. I broke down the drumsticks and it was a big, huge family pack. So what I did, I just um, separated them. I, two of them have five in there and the one right here on the top has four. So I just broke it down and I'm going to seal these up real good and get all the air out the bag. And I'm going to put it inside of my freezer, my freezing um, paper that I showed you guys many, many times before. That's what I do. I use freezer bags and my then I put them in my freezer paper and I'm going to put these down in the freezer. So also I'm going to do the same things for my waffle fries. My waffle fries, I, um, I'm going to take these out and separate them into, I might separate these into three bags, the waffle fries. And right here, I had these before, so I'm going to separate these into like four, the um, crispy chicken strips. So that's just a quick tip if you have um, a deep freezer. Mine's just filled up, but I still have room. When I do the same thing from there, I'm going to separate this, and I'm going to separate these. Take them out of the package and separate them. Up under here, I have the Red Barn Pizza, six cheese and six pepperonis take them out fix them nice and neat trust me you're gonna be able to utilize your space a whole lot better and that deep freezer it goes all the way down from the um, bottom all the way up it has a lot of room also I'm gonna show you real quick for my um, regular refrigerator this is the door part this is just all my vegetables I like to keep the vegetables that I like up in here and this is the top part now this right here, I came home the other night from my regular local store where I get my Amish meat from. I was just being lazy. I was too tired though, to be honest with you. But I'm gonna take these. I might just leave them because I, we'll probably go through them. I don't know. We'll probably just go through them. But if you take them out the packet, it will be a whole lot of space and room. And I'm taking these out the pack too. And I'm taking these out and separating those. These are already separated. They're pork chops. I just have to wrap them in my freezer paper. They're already separated. And these right here is meat and steak that I already put inside my freezer bags and then the freezing paper. So, and down here is just the other random stuff that I have to, you know, we're gonna finish eating up under there, but everything is nice and neat. If you take them out the package, Put them nice and neat and organize them in your freezer. You're going to have a whole lot of space. Trust me what I'm saying. You're going to have a ton of space. Don't keep them in the bags. And of course, the only reason I have to keep these in the bags because they are, if you are used to the frozen vegetables that comes in the bag, you have to keep them in there in order to microwave them or it's not going to work. So it's like the steam fresh bags. So that's, that's what I'm doing. If you want to utilize your space, and you want to get as much food as you can in your deep freezer and in your freezer take these out the package and separate them into freezer bags so i i hope that helps i will talk to you all later if you found this video helpful give me a thumbs up hit like comment subscribe share and you guys i'm trying to get to a thousand so i can when i'm out i don't know where i'm going from day to day because i may just run out for a quick minute but usually I try not to. I try to go to the stores and get a, look for essential items and grocery stuff, you know, food. 
every four weeks, but sometimes it may be a spirit of moment. I may go out with my sister and I want to be able to um, go live for you guys, but I just found out I'm not going to be able to go live unless I have at least a thousand subscribers. So tell your family, friends, cousins, anybody that like grocery hauls or you like helpful tips and information like this, tell them about my channel. I really appreciate it. Okay. And like I said, like, comment, subscribe, share, and do not forget to hit your notification bell. So next time you, um, you know, you'll be notified next time I upload a video, okay? So that's all I wanted to share with you guys. Take everything out your packs. You'll be able to utilize your space a whole lot better, okay? So y'all take care. Love on your family, and y'all stay safe, and I will talk to you in the next video, okay? Bye.